and what high school did you say you went to? So I graduated from Harden. Harden High School, okay. And what are some of the subjects that you took in high school? So a lot of the same, uh, you know, I, uh, I really enjoyed, uh, when I took uh, three years of Spanish, uh, enjoyed uh, my uh, you know, government and, and history classes as, as well. I uh, had a great speech teacher. Uh, so, you know, a lot of uh, teachers that uh, I still remember that impacted, uh, impacted my life and helped me uh, carry on to, uh, to move on to college and to do what I'm doing today. And so, you know, like anybody, I had classes I liked and some I didn't. What was the subject that you enjoyed the most at all? So I think, you know, ironically probably was history and, uh, you know, and, and government. Uh, I did, like I said, I had a great, uh, a great uh, speech teacher. And so I really enjoyed that um, as, as well. But I think ultimately just the, the history uh, classes, uh, that's what I took, uh, I took an AP history class and because uh, I really enjoyed that. So probably again, even though I didn't have any plans to get into government, you know, it's still kind of where I had, uh, had an interest. If your teachers were here, what would they say about you and your work habits at school? So I, um, it's funny, the, uh, the first time I became mayor, um, I actually invited uh, a number of my teachers to my inauguration. And uh, you know, all the way down, my first grade teacher was there, uh, second, third, uh, fourth grade, sixth grade, uh, a couple of uh, junior high and high school teachers. And um, you know, I, I asked them there because I just wanted them to, to see that they had an impact in my life and I remember them. And the fact that they still live here in, in Santa Clarita. Uh, I think well, some of them might have been surprised that I was the mayor, but. <laughs> but they, again, it was it was good. I think, but I think the students, the teachers, would say that um, I had a good work ethic. But um, I also like to be a little bit uh, a little bit social in class, maybe uh, than that I should have at times. Social factors come together. It does. It works into what I'm doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what's your definition of a good teacher? Sure. Well, I, I think um, teachers that, that for me were ones that made that can make the topic engaging. Because sometimes, you know, it's not always gonna be fun every day. You know, sometimes the material is can be rough, particularly uh, for some students. You know, for me, math was a little bit more difficult than, than others. And uh, I had a great math teacher that uh, kept me interested and that helped me learn. And so I think uh, as long as, you know, teachers are authentic and they truly care about the subject and care about the students, uh, that translates to uh, people being and you mentioned that you like playing sports. So did you like joining clubs during high school or playing any sports? Yeah, so sports was really the, the focus. I played four sports at uh, high school, uh, football, uh, volleyball, track, and basketball. Um, <clears throat> and obviously I didn't do them all the whole time, but throughout my years there. And then um, I was uh, involved in uh, the Honor Society and, uh, and, and those programs that uh, all were helped to, to get me through into the, that college track. Yeah, and since high school can be like, kind of rough at times, what's the most important thing you can take away that you've learned from high school? That it's not forever. And uh, you know, again, I have, uh, I have a 10th grade son and I have a, an 8th grade son, and so they're kind of in that. And, you know, sure, it can be tough, you know, and, and no doubt it's tough, but, but it isn't forever, and you'll get through it. Uh, and as long as uh, you have, uh, you know, friends and, and people you can count on, um, you know, you'll, get, uh, you'll get through it. Yeah. Well. Okay, segueing from that, what's your favorite high school memory? So, I, I shouldn't say this, but, you know, I... I could say the fact that I scored my first high school touchdown against Canyon, you know, by first day, but I'll, I'll leave that, uh, I'll, I'll leave that out. But no, you know, I think um, honestly my senior year, um, you know, I had kind of already made my college commitments and it was pretty well set and I had a good group of friends um, and we were able to really uh, kind of enjoy our last semester in high school because we knew we were all going different directions and uh, we, we knew that so we really, tried to make the most of uh, that time, you know, together. And it was, it was a mixture. It was, you know, people that I've gone to school with since kindergarten. You know, some people that I hadn't been friends with for a number of years, but we all kind of came back together that last, uh, you know, those last semester and, uh, you know, and really enjoyed the, the time. Okay. And you mentioned like you were still in sports and stuff. So how did you eventually get started or interested in this? So after I had uh, graduated college, my uh, my dad 
uh, was actually running for the city council here in Santa Maria, and, uh, and I helped on his campaign. And uh, he was successful. He won uh, by 16 votes. So um, no one can ever tell me that your vote doesn't matter. That's why even when I speak to, uh, to students who are, haven't registered to vote yet, I'm always going to ask them for their vote because you know, I watched how you know, such a small number of votes made a difference in my dad's career, and I've always used that going forward. What advice would you offer to a student or someone who's <clears throat> considering a career like yours? I would, you know, I, I would get involved in uh, internships or, or volunteers, especially this year. Um, with it being an election year, there are so many opportunities to get involved, regardless of your political views. You, you, can, uh, you don't have to only come volunteer for, uh, you know, for me or you know, for a city issue. If you care about uh, issues at Congress, when there's you know, members of Congress, there's congressional races, there's state legislative races, any number of ways that you can get involved. I'm just going to do a little rapid fire round just to get to know you better sure. as a person. What's the most recent book that you've read? The Falcon of Sparta. It's a story about uh, a Spartan legion that uh, were, it's a true story, a historical fiction about Greek uh, mercenaries who were contracted uh, to fight in a uh, civil war in Persia and uh, their prince lost and the story is about how they marched for months to get back to uh, to Greece and all the challenges that they uh, that they faced. So that was the last one I just finished up. So you live here in Santa Clarita, you've lived here your entire life. What's your favorite restaurant in Santa Clarita? So I, um, I would, I have a couple. Um, I like the Old Town Junction, you know, in, in New Hall. I like the refinery uh, in New Hall. Um, but I'm also a, a sushi person, and, uh, and and supposedly Mad Sushi here on uh, on Soledad and, and Sierra Highway is the uh, the best sushi spot in town. So I'm looking forward to hitting that. And favorite ice cream flavor? You know, my old school is uh, mint and chip. You know. I like birthday cake a little bit. You know, sometimes these are a little bit, you, know, you can get really deep into the ice cream flavor. So I think, you know, but my standard from, you know, from when I was a kid is the, yeah, is the mint chip. And my next question was how can students get involved with politics when they can't vote? But you mentioned like you can volunteer in campaigns and do internships and stuff like that. So that covers that question. And just closing it up, is there any possible way we can get your high school yearbook picture so I can put it in your magazine? There is. I think I can I think I, can, I think I can send that to you. Okay, then thank you. You got it, all right. Yeah, for sure, for sure.